and we're back. Travis <laughs> Wilson of WizSports.net made a bold prediction to me that it can be seen on NBC15.com. Yeah. He said, are you ready? Yes. Wanaki would actually run the table this year. That would be the Warriors' first state title since 2012. That's a drought under Pat Russ. Yeah, for real. But not an easy one out of the gates. Or, hey, look at that. It's Ron Dane. Nice. Ron Dane. Taking on Dane. Oregon. Badger's great. Ron Dane, obviously, on hand to watch his son, JV, on. And he didn't disappoint. Wanaki leading 17-7 in the third quarter. Dane, rumbling. Well, he looks like his daddy he on that does. one. 41-yard wow. score. Warriors up 23-7. In the fourth, the Panthers putting together a drive. They converted two fourth downs. Cedric Girard finds Cullen Gahagan in the corner of the end zone. The two-point failed. 23-13, Wanaki, the last score we had before the game delayed due to lightning. Lots of lightning. Another top Badger Conference crossover matchup. Monona Grove hosting Reesburg. 10-0. Silver Eagles, where we pick it up. Alec Ogden, 47 yards to Andre Nahirniak for the score, 17 nothing. Next Silver Eagles possession, back in the year Ogden. Chased down, and he, uh-oh, fumbles the ball. He's used to having torn Young back there last <laughs> yeah, year. That helped a lot. And it's recovered. Eagles attacking again just before half. Jackson Thompson from nine yards out on the goal line. Uh-oh, another fumble. Not to worry, though. MG with their first win of the season, 20 to 0 is the final. A pair of new coaches in this one, Ryan Kleppe for Mount Horror Barneveld and Matt Lee for Milton. Red Hawks trailing big late in the first half, but they find Paydirt on fourth down. Isaac Phillips hits Mark Bodich over the middle. He Ooh. reaches out for the score. After that, though, the Vikings D pinned their ears back. Phillips scrambling. Scrambling, Bueller, Bueller, scrambling. Scott Hall dives and takes him down by the ankles. Phillips had to leave the game after that play, so Bodich came in at quarterback. He can't handle the snap. The Vikings D smothers him for another. We like to call that a sack lunch. Num, 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 num. All visitors in this one, they win it 41 to 6. Jocko likes food. Stone has only made the playoffs once in their history, hosting to force to open the year. Norsey's quarterback, Keegan Harder, lost one up for Jared Klein, and Klein. Oh, nice Got catch. your back. 30-yard game. That's how you high point the football. That sets up a field goal try, but Viking senior Trevor Helland gets a hand on it. Field goal is no good. Stoughton then gives the ball to Brady Shipper, who does the rest. He ships it in, and he's gone 60 yards for the touchdown. It's 6-0. Later in the first quarter now, Noah Guerin drops back, finds Jordan DeBenia. Deto for an 80-yard touchdown wow. play. I'm excited because I think I got his name right. Vikings take a 12-0 lead. Get that young man a drink of water. The last score we have before the weather delay is 12-7 Stoughton. Edgewood hosting Baraboo tonight at Brighton Box Stadium in Middleton. Coach Minard honored for his 200th win in Madison, and this is good coaching. Fred Richards takes a hand off, and look at this, Ryan. Get out of his way. Um, why are you yelling? Because uh, I'm excited. The Crusader okay. goes 42 yards, what the kids call the house. I just called the end zone. 7 nothing edge. You're not even fancy enough to call it the end zone. <laughs> Got to give the kickers some love. Back to the field goals. First, it's Zach Wall from the Crusaders, who gets it done from deep. And then, almost the exact same spot, the Thunderbirds answer. Victor Riccardi. Great name, great kick. Kickers are people, too. They are. Baraboo ties it right before halftime. Tom Ginther to Noah Larson. And what a grab for young Noah. I love that name, too. Edgewood wins this one. 24 to 13, another big win for Coach Minard. Let's end in the Capital Conference, defending South co-champ Marshall on the road against Lake Mills. The L Cats get on the board. Ben Dunkelberger, mm, burgers, mm. back to pass. He finds Hayden Iverson for the touchdown. Practice? Oh, wrong, wrong. Iverson, You're right. Sorry. You Cardinals okay? start to play defense. Brad Grobe, the sack right there as he's trying to keep the Cardinals in it, but the Lake. They can play some defense, too. The fumble recovery here, a little bit of a shocker. Elcats win it 34-7 to over the cards. So we're going to head to another break, but I don't want you to go anywhere yet because we've got two special things coming up, a montage of all the highlights from tonight. And you we don't want to miss. And we have more people to say hi, so right. let's see what they have to well, say. Well, we'll say that in a second, but I want to tell you that we also have our top plays coming up as well that you get to vote for. Ooh. Now you can send it to Brad. Oh, how about let's hear from some people saying hi.